It is finally my favorite time of the year. Everything is just so colorful, as you can tell by my outfit. I am here for the color, I'm here for the rainbows, and I'm even here for figment. I would say my outfit is, it's a subtle figment Disney bound, if you will. Even my nails, they have a little, a little nod to figment. I also wanna give the biggest thank you ever to Disney for inviting me to experience this festival. Being invited by Disney for this festival is a literal dream come true, and I just truly am so, so thankful. Before we get into the festival fun, Disney did give me a little goodie bag, so I have to show you. You guys will not believe what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. It's the figment popcorn bucket of the year. If you know, you know. These things sell out like crazy. Everybody raves over them. They're so cool and so limited edition. So this year's popcorn bucket is inspired by the imagination building that the figment ride is in. And it lights up. Ta-da! You'll definitely be able to see it better in the dark. Disney also was so kind to gift a little figment munchling. He is so cute and he smells so good. And it even has the Festival of the Arts on the side. Disney also gave me a gift card so we can try out some of the festival food and drinks as well. I'm so excited. Today's gonna be such a great day. A day full of figment, that's for sure. So let's go. It is time for our first stop of the day. It's looking like the weather is slightly clear. You just might see my hair start to frizz up as we go. But the first stop of the day is the paint by numbers mural section. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite things to do because you literally get to paint a piece of Disney World and create this beautiful mural. Sometimes it might take a day or two to see the whole completed mural. But the cool thing today, since it's the very first day, is that we get to be one of the very first people to paint on the mural. They're gonna give us a little bookmark that shows what the mural is supposed to look like. So let's go. This is what the final artwork is gonna be. This is brand new this year. We've never actually done this painting. It looks so cute. I guess I painted part of the Epcot ball, the little like yellow part, but that looks so cool. So the paint by numbers mural was so much fun, but being one of the first people to like paint on it was so weird because there was no color. Like it was just totally empty. I thought that was really cool. So now I'm currently in Connections Cafe because I had to get some coffee and some breakfast because we have a lot to do today and I need some fuel. So I got the pistachio cream cold brew, which is one of my favorite coffees ever. It's so good. Oh my gosh, wait. I just realized that Joffrey's also does their own version of this for Festival of the Arts. So we're gonna have to get that later and then we'll compare the two. And then I also just got a little ham and Swiss croissant because I am so starving. And then I'm also here with my friend who's also named Emily. So let me introduce you guys and she can show you what she got. Hi All right. guys. This is Emily, what did you get? So I got a venti strawberry acai lemonade, no berries. And then I got a bacon gouda sandwich. And then we're gonna try this together. It's the croissant donut. It looks so good. Wait, Wait show good. them your um, cup. Oh yeah, okay. She kind of like asked me what my favorite movie was. And I said The Little Mermaid. We're trying to figure out what this is. Comment down below. <laughs> what do you think this is? 
I think it's one of the fish from like the under the sea thing. Really? I feel like I feel like it's supposed to be Sebastian because I like I see his little lip there, but then I see his like little snail thingy. Because he's a crab. Sure. Not snail, he's not a snail, he's a crab. <laughs> okay, that's I think this is supposed sense. to be Sebastian. Guys, I also brought my GoPro with me. I am so excited to try this out. Okay, welcome to GoPro Cam. We're gonna try the croissant donut. This is what I call a theme park breakfast. Cheers. Wow, I feel so just recharged after getting some coffee and some breakfast. And so now we are heading on over to America for the Animation Academy. I am so excited. I love drawing in the parks. And so every day at 12.30 and 1.30, they have a little art session where they'll teach you how to draw a character. So let's go head over there. We do have to power walk just a little bit. Shape that other things are gonna get a little thinner, look thinner, and look even though I've got that sketchy line there, I'm not gonna worry about that line. Guys, this is my finished product, and can I just say, I think this is my best work. I think this is the best I've ever done. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, this is my worst work. Um, Remy's a hard one to draw. Like, that was actually really, really difficult, so I definitely messed up with the eyes and made him look very crazy. Okay, guys, I have to show you what mine looks like. I think this is so spot on. But his name is Lester from a Goofy movie. He also looks like a meal, so I think I did a really good job in not drawing Remy. Like, I think I killed it. And then I think Emily's looks like, tell me it doesn't look like the chipmunk from Enchanted. That's like Apple? No, thank you. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the whole festival, is getting to be an artist yourself. Yeah. Anybody can be an artist. eats to get the grilled cheese and tomato soup this is such like a simple food but it's one of my festival favorites for sure like all-time festival favorites comes in this cute little can and they were so so kind and gave us this cake it's a Minnie Mouse rock the dots cake with white chocolate and orange mousse I also brought my little Owala with me this is like the best park water bottle look at all of this cheese Very good. Mm, that is too good. They also have a pimento one. Oh my god. But I just like a good classic grilled cheese. That's really good. I rate this a 10 out of 10. What do you rate this? 20 out of 10. So good. It's time to try the cake. I am so excited. I almost got this. Like I was about to, so it was meant to be. It's so cute. That's good. Mm -hmm. I don't really taste the orange. I do. That much? Maybe it's I almost like it. I can like smell it. It's like at the end. Like no, I do taste it. Oh my gosh, no. I'm like, at the very end. It's so good though. It's so like refreshing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
here in the Odyssey and Figment's Inspiration Station. It is so like funky in here. There's Figment theme music playing. Everything's like rainbow. The lighting is really cool. Like this is a fun place. So I got the iconic Figment smoothie. This is pretty much just a grape smoothie and grape isn't my personal favorite so I already know flavor wise probably won't love it. I remember getting this last year but I like to get it for the cup. This cup has figment on the front and then even like the back of figment on the back and I think these are the perfect cups for my coffee in the morning. I have a whole collection of these cups and I think this will be like my third one now. And then I also got the rainbow Skittles cake, which I also remember from last year and I remember it being so, so good. So I'm so excited they brought this back and I can't wait to try it. So first, let's try the smoothie. It is a little loud in here, I do apologize. But it's a fun vibe. And there's also Skittles on the top of the smoothie. I think it's a smoothie and not a milkshake. So if I liked grape, I feel like I would love this. Now for the cake. It's just so pretty. All right, we're gonna try to get every single layer in one bite. Mm. So good. This is also where you get the popcorn bucket that I showed you guys earlier, like this is the spot. So you can see everybody in here with their popcorn buckets, like so proud and showing it off, it's so cute. I'm gonna finish eating this cake, it is so good. And then I think next up, it's time to actually enter the World Showcase. And then we have Disney on Broadway, which is my favorite thing ever at 6.45. that I think I've been the most excited for. Truly everything at Festival of the Arts is one of my favorite things, but I think my favorite, favorite thing is the Disney on Broadway concert series. I am so excited. I look forward to this series every single year. Growing up a theater kid, this is like my dreams coming true. Getting to listen to theater songs while at Disney World, literally a dream come true. So tonight we have Casey Levy and Patty Murin, both from Frozen. I have never seen them before here, so I am so excited. So let's head on over to America Garden Theater and watch the show. Being in an audience is something that we forget is part of our history, our DNA. To believe in something bigger than yourself, I think that's the magic of Broadway, because to see a hundred people on a stage in unison, it makes you believe in the impossible. I How have chills. What has happened is that this has gone global. And whether you're mounting a musical in your school auditorium, or whether you're in a very fancy Broadway theater, you are gathering together in the dark with a community of people who are going to watch a show. The arts make life better. And now, please welcome the original stars of Disney on Broadway's Frozen, Patty Murin and Casey Levy.
to be here kicking off the Disney on Broadway concert series. We have a huge round of applause for this incredible band. We've got Louis on guitar, Chris on bass, Mike on drums, Steve on keyboard, and of course our amazing conductor and arranger, Mr. Jim. show that brought Patty and me together as sisters on stage. And kind of off stage as well. In 2017, we were cast as Anna and Elsa, and it truly changed our lives. It's true. Right away, we just became fast friends, and our bond just grew deeper and deeper as we brought these iconic characters to life for the very first time. In forever. On a Broadway stage. That too. <laughs> now, have you ever asked yourself, what is it about these songs and these characters that we love so, so much. I don't know, I think for me, these characters, these songs, they stand the test of time. They stay with you no matter where you come from or how old or young you are. Yeah, um, they're very universal and they do tend to reflect us in our real lives. This next song um, is one that is very personal to me um, from The Greatest Showman. Um, this, this song is, I, I, when my first daughter was born, um, at, at 10 weeks old, she had to undergo heart surgery. She's totally fine, everything is great, she's amazing. But when she was healing and I would get up in the middle of the night and hold her and, and sing to her, I would sing this song to her. Um, and if I get through it without crying, you all owe me a dollar or a Coke, whatever. Um, and I would just think about all of the things that the dreams she has yet to dream and all the things that she's gonna do in her life. all figment inspired so this is the little spirit jersey make every day a work of art i love that using that as an instagram caption 
but the pigment looks so, so cute. And then they have this little water bottle. So fun. I love the colors. Over here, they have this tie-dye t-shirt. That looks so cute. And I guess everybody else thought that too because it's pretty much sold out. I would totally get this. Okay, when they get more sizes, I'm coming back for this because it's so cute. And it has all of like the countries. Oh my gosh. Here is the Festival of the Arts little pass holder pen. Oh, there's another t-shirt. I love that there's a music note on this one. That's cute. Again, I just really love the coloring of the festival. Oh, cute. Here are some more Festival of the Arts pins. And a figment. They have the munchling that we got earlier. And here is another t-shirt. Oh my gosh, this mug is so cute, y'all. I might have to come back and get the mug. They have this one and they also have, is this a mug too? Oh, this is like a little pencil holder. And they also have this little hat. How fun. Okay, so we are in Japan and Emily has never had the sushi donut, which as you guys hopefully know by now is my festival favorite. I love sushi and it's in the shape of a donut, like you really can't go wrong. So we came over here to get the sushi donut and they also had a Wagyu bun. We each got our own. I am very curious to try this. I, I think I'm gonna like it, I don't know. I am slightly a bit of a picky eater as you guys might know. Do you like ginger wasabi? Uh, ginger, yes, not wasabi. I don't actually like either because they're very spicy. Actually, I love ginger in like a juice or like a, mm. a drink, but not like a I, I don't think I've ever drank it. No. This is wasabi, spicy mayo, and a little eel sauce. Get ready, guys. Let's go. I have any of the mm. <laughs> So good. But I taste the ginger. Mm. What do you think? Very good. And the rice is so good. Mm. Like it's sushi rice, mm. of course. But it's so good. Sushi donut slays. 10 out of 10. What do you like better? Which topping? My favorite is salmon. It's just always gonna be salmon. I don't even think I had the salmon. I think you ate all the salmon, which makes sense because she really likes it, so she probably just took that really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I swiped. I actually really like the cucumber, as weird as that sounds, because okay. it was very refreshing. Okay. All right, now it's time for the Wagyu bun. Do you eat this with your hands, or do you cut it? Um, I'll cut into it. Okay, I'll be proper. I'll all. cut into it. I don't know what the green sauce is supposed to be, though. I hope it's not wasabi. Oh, it's a it's green not. Shis it's not. shiso sauce. Ready? Ooh, that is good. That's the inside. Just Did you try the green it. stuff? Mm -mm. Try the green stuff. It's delicious. That's not the words. <laughs> this is really good. I don't, there's a sauce in this or something, right? I think it's teriyaki. Japan always is going to be such a slay when it comes to festival food. Oh, also, we have to talk about the Broadway show. Because mm -hmm. that was your very first time seeing it, right? Mm hmm This was Casey and Patty's very first first time I think being on the stage at least the very first time together and they both originated the roles of Anna and Elsa in Frozen on Broadway and oh my gosh they were so amazing their voices just sounded like like true Disney princess their set was more geared towards like a more sentimental show like just talking about being who you are finding your home what else did they talk about? Like sisterhood. Sisterhood, and duh. And I think it made everyone in the audience like cry or at yeah. least tear up. I know we did. I cried. Oh, like twice they at least. Were so good. <laughs> and they do switch out the artists every few days. But they actually did one that was from The Greatest Showman. That one was spectacular and that's the one that made me cry because she was talking about like sentimental things like her and her daughter mm -hmm. it was so good i love the song home from beauty and the beast mm -hmm. back in my musical theater days that was like one of the songs i would sing so i mm -hmm. loved seeing her sing that they sang a song that i guess they added to the frozen on broadway show that since they originated it they didn't actually get to sing and it was so beautiful i had never heard it before overall it was amazing and the park is about to close in a little bit we might try to go and hop on a ride before seeing Luminous at 9 p.m. We have a little bit of time. So I think we're gonna try to do Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that mm -hmm. ride in so, so long. It's so I'm excited.
the chef Rami is waiting for you. This one? Des invités pour le dîner. to see if they have the purple tie-dye shirt. I just thought it was so cute, so let's go look for it. I went on, I went, I spent the Oh, guys, I see it. Let's see if they have my size. I think this is so cute. Yeah, so we're getting this. I'm so happy that I found the tie-dye shirt in the size that I wanted. I'm literally gonna go home and put that on immediately. I am so excited. I always love collecting the shirts of every single festival, and I have last year's figment chalk it up to something magical tea so i was so excited to see what this year's design would be anyways i'm in the parking lot and that's the end of the video i had so much fun i cannot believe that i was here at epcot from pretty much park open to park close 
and it went by so fast seriously today was so much fun I am so so excited that it's it's my favorite time of the year I do love the holidays but every time Festival of the Arts comes around like it's just such a sweet season but truly today was so much fun and I will be coming back I'm so glad I got to show you guys Luminous too I think Luminous is such a beautiful show especially that song on the end I'm really hoping fingers crossed that it gets put on Spotify somewhat soon and again the biggest thank you ever to Disney Parks for inviting me out and letting me get to experience the festival and take you guys along with me truly getting to be hosted for an event like this is actually a dream come true it is truly such an honor because you guys know how much I love this festival I adore it so much and getting to take you guys along with me it just makes it even better so again thank you so much to Disney thank you for the popcorn bucket I will be coming back and using it partly as a purse and partly to eat popcorn I can't wait to try the rainbow popcorn that it came with but anyways guys today was just the best day ever if you enjoyed feel free to subscribe down below I have so many Disney vlogs coming your way this year and I'm gonna leave you guys with some wisdom and that is a dream can be a dream come true with just one spark for me and you. A dream can be a dream come true. Bye guys, love you. A dream can be a dream.